Welcome back. This time we are checking out some embarrassing stuff. I know, this is the internet, so uh, prepare for the big leagues. Uh, that is something they would do, to be honest. I accidentally hit the language button on my remote last night and watched Family Guy in Spanish for 10 minutes, thinking it was a weird joke. <gasps> Actually, that kind of sounds interesting. I think this was a uh, part of... Oh, fuck. Uh, if you guys are respectable, Rick and Morty uh, fans like myself, uh, you probably would have seen. You probably seen the new, well, not new, but like somewhat recent Snake episode, where you just see like a society talking uh, a totally different Snake language for like minutes. And that was so amazing. Like that was like not even learning the language. That was just amazing. But yeah, I kind of like learning languages, but. But I also like using them, so if, if, if I'm not using it, it's kind of lame, but I think Spanish is cool, so... <laughs> That's kind of fun. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Simba. Uh, I've done worse. And I just read something about replacing I'm sorry with thank you. So instead of saying sorry I was late, say thank you for waiting for me. Replacing negativity with positivity and gratitude and breaks the I'm sorry cycle. Powerful. I think you can do both, you know? I think that's that's more useful that you acknowledge your error and still appreciate their understanding. Thank you for letting me sleep with your sister. <laughs> I mean, funny, but at that point, uh, you didn't really have their go ahead. <laughs> but that's not a terrible idea, you know. I think mean, I think it's good. You know, you can just say like a meaningless sorry, like you know. What, what the ideal approach is recognizing your error, then making it up to them, not just like, hey, hey, thanks, no, let's just go. I mean, ultimately, like, yeah, <laughs> okay, but <laughs> this is this is a good troll opportunity. Space Force is about exploring and finding out what's out there, but NASA does space exploration. NASA is uh, NASA is only gonna tell us what they want us to know. Whereas I think Trump will send his own stuff, and we will find out the truth. Okay. I, I can't... You know what? You totally sold me, lady. I can't wait to hear uh, about uh, what Trump can tell us about space exploration. Let's fucking bring it on. Uh, literally, Nova noticed that that one pick is taken in front of a mirror, I have no words. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Very nice transition. Respect. Respect. Uh, that's not even the same person. <laughs> Where's the tattoos? I love the how the tattoos switched arms. Come on, why did you make these people anonymous? They deserve to be shamed. Lies, they aren't the same people. Damn, didn't know tattoos swapped uh, sides when losing weight. Damn, that shit's... Oh my god. Is everything gonna be the same thing? Tattoo went from... This hand... To that hand? Okay. They mix up the description a little bit, but... Kinda, like... <laughs> no one really gets the point. Where her tattoos go? Whoever believed this is stupid? It is the same person. It takes some time to analyze it, but yeah, it's the same features. If you if you look at the face, you know it's the same person. But yeah, th this is actually very common. If you're fat now, like change your haircut, you lose some weight, and you gotta be a totally different person. I fucking guarantee it. You look completely different. It's gonna be like, oh, who is that person? They will not know. Like this actually happened to me a little bit. I, I used to be a. Uh, a little bit fatter in elementary school, plus had a different hair. No one, well, well, no one really went to me to the same high school, and where I changed even more. And when once I was in college, no one fucking knew who I was, who who actually previously knew uh, know me from elementary school. They they just they just couldn't see me. I could just literally be talking to them face to face, and they would not recognize me. So. I wasn't that fat, but, like, I suppose I just changed. Like, ultimately, yeah, at that point, like, yeah, I changed because, like, 
you know, like I was growing up. Uh, ultimately, like that that's that kind of like more extreme example because you change uh, quite drastically. But yeah, this is actually more true if you just lose a lot of weight. You just look like a different person. You can tell Trump hasn't done anything wrong. He'd be trying to hide things. So if he were blocking the witnesses, you'd think he was hiding something. Right. But Trump is blocking the witnesses. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to get political. And while just screwing around Reddit, you read a lot of American politics. Like, I don't even care too much about... Uh, European politics, usually. Not that it's not important, but ultimately you don't really have much of a, a influence over it. It's important, but there's not much you can do other than vote every four plus years. So, yeah, this is more of a problem that, you know, you already made up your mind. And that's not how you should approach things, you know? Every time, you're, if you're trying to say why you're right... You fucked up. In a way, you kind of want to say why you're wrong. You, you, you're looking to actively challenge your way of thinking. And that's not what most people do. They're like, oh, I already made up my mind. And you think like, oh, I made, I, I, I'm open-minded. I don't think you are as open-minded as you think. You, you probably hold some very, very uh, strong beliefs. And you're not really open to questioning it. You just take it as, as granted. And as you get older, you're probably going to hold more and more and more beliefs. Well, eventually, when you're 60, 70, you're going to be, like, living in the past. So, challenge your beliefs. Uh, I'm pointing at you, uh, dear camera. This fan has a concealable police sign, so that no one will ever guess it's a police fan. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea. Polizei! It could be anybody's. Maybe it's just the local rappers who likes to... Uh, overcompensate for his tiny penis. Uh, which is also tend to be true for the police, so... I mean... Uh, checkmate there. Best before Monday? <laughs> oh, which fucking Monday? This again seems like an American product. You, you cannot get away with this shit in Europe. But holy crap. <laughs> this is annoying. I mean, I cannot imagine a more... Wait. More annoying design than this? Like, it seems to be just designed the way to, to be obscure. Like, just to be de deliberately confusing, obviously. So, yeah, I mean... What I'm thinking, like, they probably have a bunch of these bags, right? Why they have these bags? I, 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 while I was saying that nonsense, I was actually thinking of how this could be justified in a way. But it is possible that they have uh, a bunch of bags, like obviously like seven types, uh, because it seems to be printed on it. They have Monday, Tuesday, like they have every day of the week bags. And uh, they use it for the collect product and obviously they, uh, they, they kind of throw it out. So in a way, this is not horrendous but at the same time i see this as a customer like what the hell is going on here i mean can i really trust this product how, ca how can i know this was like two weeks ago so yeah i don't know man how is this even possible this freshman was like i can't find my class and we looked at his schedule and he's at the bronx school <laughs> <laughs> what? How do you fuck that up? How wrong is your school? <gasps> like, how could you... F I, I cannot imagine how could you fuck this up. I kind of fucked this up. I kind of fucked this up by being in the wrong building. Not, not super far away, but like, you know... Like, if you're like in a university... Uh, then the university might have uh, different buildings throughout the city. And uh, you might think like, oh, it's got to be like super obvious. Not as obvious as you might think. So you might end up in the wrong building. I'm not saying it's a common occurrence by any means, but it might happen. Uh, when you're just making a, an honest mistake. 
And you might think like, oh yeah, Adam is so dumb. He fucked it up. No, no, no. I, I was there with like, you know, I don't know, 50 other students. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like apparently quite a common fuck up. Uh, there was, uh, this was a lecture of like hundreds of students, but apparently it was somewhere else. Uh, surprise. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what the fuck? I want to know more about this story. Have you ever made a mistake of this uh, uh, caliber? We saw Pokemon Go as a teachable moment for how people should treat real animals. Kidnapping them and forcing them to fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Peter, what the fuck? Peter! I don't know. I, it's so easy to flame Peter. I mean, I get it. They just want to do some right, but god damn it, Peter. What are you doing? If you're fucking up all the time. But they, they just all talk, right? Do they do anything? Like, on their own, like, do they have, like, animal reserves of, like, you know, like, we care about the animals, but instead of, like, guilt tripping, like, or just attacking others, like, you know, let's just have some kind of a animal thing going on. I should look into PETA, but at the same time, I don't really want to, because I already know too much about them. It just seems like nothing I can ever get on board with, despite the person that, yeah, I, I not, not like, yeah, let's just kill animals. That's not me. Oh my god. I just walked into my room holding the remote and a glass of chocolate milk, and I meant to toss the remote into my bed, but instead I tossed the glass of chocolate milk onto my bed. <sighs> oh shit. This is not something I I'm not un I'm not capable of. <laughs> I could do this, especially if I'm super tired. But god damn it. Holy this is this is not a mistake you wanna make. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I would like to see a video of this. Imagine that face of defeat when you throw away your valued chocolate uh beverage and oh, onto the bed and now you have to clean the fucking bed. And possibly it's gonna be uh kinda annoying to sleep in it uh, tonight. Uh, tell that to the, I don't know, the entire US military apparently. So, yeah, lol, I'll be freaking out if my clock was displaying nonsense numbers. What? You're... You're aware that that's a 24-hour uh, set clock, right? So it's just saying uh, 11.36. I'm sorry if this isn't a... PC, but I don't care about the British cust about British cust British customs. What the fuck? I I am so baffled by this. If anything, the 24-hour clock makes so much more sense. And I don't like to use AM PM in the first place. It's it's not necessarily like confusing, but it can be confusing if uh, left out. And uh, often it's left out because. People just assume that it's it's obvious. Not always obvious. So I, I just like to say like, you know, 1525, you know. At 1525. And you know? So that that's more useful. I don't know, man. <laughs> Does anyone use the that that if anything, actually I, I did, needed to change this when I was uh, setting up my operating system. That apparently the default display is is just a stupid one. And uh it's 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 getting used pretty widely, but it's just it just it's just bad. It's inferior. Why would you use it? I never understood this, but I suppose this is the, the same reason America is still using uh, uh, pound. Well, that's 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 the UK too, but like imperial units instead of metric units. And this is just uh, one of the dumbassery that just really makes no sense. That's still love, sir, probably. Did you watch Chernobyl? I'm watching now. Why is everyone called Conrad? <laughs> they're, they're saying comrade. It means friend or ally. Oh. <laughs> this is an innocent mistake. I like it. <laughs> it's a good joke, too. <laughs> oh, man. 
Uh, by the way, watch Chernobyl. Pretty cool. Uh, worth a watch for sure. Comrade. The right path. Stay on the right path. Even if you have to walk alone. That's the left path. <laughs> exactly. The right path will not be called the right path. You have to know which one is the right one. <laughs> As per my office, these are the don'ts at our office washroom. So, you can piss in the urinal and leave one slot, and the fellow man is also can also piss in the urinal. That is uh, possible. You can also piss in the urinal, and you can also close in piss piss in the urinal as well. It's a bit of a repetition, but I suppose they really want to hammer in the point that you can actually do it alone as well. So you don't need the assistance of someone else and the fellow man uh, to hold your wiener. What is not acceptable is standing next to a fellow man. That is not acceptable, obviously. Like, uh, you also cannot remove one of the urinals, then piss on the head of the other uh, participants. Uh, other users of the toilet. That's not okay. Apparently, you can also play. You can't play a game. You cannot piss from far away. Uh, to which I have to reply. Maybe you can, bitch, but I can. So obviously they don't know me. Uh, that's that's a uh, upvote right there. Uh, that's a uh, like a I don't know. <laughs> check mark, green check mark. You cannot talk to other people. In the urinal. That's not not uh, accepted. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot uh, talk to them at all. You also uh, cannot have these uh, granny panties going on, uh, especially ankle high. That's not okay. You also cannot shit in the urinal or uh, just use your ass to just rub your ass all around the the piss of the urinal. Uh, yeah, that's not accepted. Apparently, also not uh, pissing at the dick of others. Others pissing on your dick is also not accepted. Uh, playing a friendly game of uh, <laughs> is also not accepted. And pissing next to urinal is not accepted as well. I have to say pretty strict rules over here. Uh, probably uh, stem from uh, their lack of ability to uh, piss uh, far distances and hold conversations. And uh, their proper underwear, like which is boxers, by the way, if, if, in case uh, you didn't know and you were just about to uh, embarrass yourself. But now you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why, why. See, I don't care. If a guy wants to get into the urinal alone and rub his ass cheeks all around my piss, I say, fucking hell, go for it. It's not my thing, but if that's your thing, just do it. I say, I, I put it in the maybe category still, it's not my thing. So, apparently these are the untold rules of using the urinals. Uh, do you agree with them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how could I uh, really improve upon this. Uh, my, my, my... Yeah, usually you just like, go in, fuck off. You, you piss, you get out. So, those are the usually uh, the rules of the urinal. Uh, not, not really much, much else. So, anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, um, see you next time.